So let me get this straight. You're a Sonic fan. You love Sonic music. You use YouTube. And you're not subscribed to my boy Hotline Sawani? AKA the dude that's been serving up the coldest Sonic the Hedgehog remixes. Listen to this, man. <laughs> Shit on Spotify, Apple Music, literally convenient as fuck for you to just take the shit on your phone, listen to these fire remixes, and Hotline Sawana will be doing a Sonic Movie 2 remix giveaway. We'll be releasing four Sonic Movie 2 remixes from the 30th of March to the 8th of April. The prizes are 50 Hotline Sawani movie themed t-shirts, one runner-up shirt plus Sonic Movie 2 figures, and one grand prize shirt plus a Sonic Movie 2 poster and an Xbox Series S. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe and follow Hotline Sawani, comment hashtag Sonic Movie 2 Remix on one of the premieres, and fill out the entry form. These remixes are also supporting charity as we are raising $550 for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. The giveaway and fundraiser run from the 25th of March to the 15th of April, and the winners will be announced on the 15th of April. What do you think, The Sonic? Alright, high five! Just check out my boy Hotline Sawani, make sure to subscribe to him, the link to his YouTube channel as well as all the other relevant links will be in the description. Alright, so as Sonic fans, you know that we are used to Sonic things being teased and announced and them coming out and them not being good, right? But the one thing that we've been able to rely on recently is the Sonic movie sequel. And yes, the reviews have come in and it is looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. So we're going to actually go through some of these early impressions and just give a quick reaction to them. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and hopefully 70,000 subscribers before Sonic Frontiers comes out. So we got this article from Comic Book Gaming or Comic Book Movie. I don't know. I mean, it's a gaming movie. And it says, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 gets glowing response from critics. The first impressions of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 are in and critics are loving it. Despite some controversy surrounding how Sonic looked before the first... No one gives a f That was the first film. Okay, relax. No one cares. It was a roaring success. It was one of the last big movies to release before the pandemic. It continued to find success when it was pushed to stream enough the theaters temporarily closed... Temporarily. <laughs> closed down in early 2020. That shit was closed for months. Giving families something to watch while stuck inside. The massive success allowed Paramount to quickly take over the franchise with the merchandise and the movies and the spinoffs. And roughly two years later, the sequel is now out. This time, Sonic is joined by Tails and Knuckles in his new adventure. And it looks like it could top the first, it definitely top the first one. Can't. The first one was like a 6.5. Sonic Hedgehog 2 has already screened for a number of critics and the reception to the film seems to be overwhelmingly positive. The first social media reactions are calling the film fun and an improvement over the first film, largely because it embraces its video game roots and moves towards being an action movie. Many also cited the human performances from the cast, all of whom inject some heart into the upcoming video game adaptation. Comic Book's Chris Killian also noted that fans should stick around until the end of the credits for a surprise that was already leaked and I covered that leak and then Paramount took the video down and then I undid the strike but I didn't re-upload the video but I already know what the surprise is and you probably find out anyway because someone else will spoil it for you. I'm not going to do that but you know. Given video game adaptations can be hit or miss, it's good to hear the sequel delivers. The first one was a surprise but had its issues. It seems like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 has found its footing and knows what it wants to be, establishing a confident identity. Paramount seems to be pleased with the film already as it is confirmed it's already developing Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Four reviews are embargoed for the time being, but they're expected to be released ahead of the film. And then they got the release date. So we got some tweets here. So we got one from Chris Killian and it says, Good news, Sonic 2 is every bit as fun as the first one and the kids will love it. The addition of Tails and Knuckles makes it feel more like Sonic. Once again, Jim Carrey is awesome as Robotnik, but this round, some of the other characters get some time to shine too. So that's pretty good, pretty good going review. This person, Ash Crossan, says, Sonic Movie 2 is a worthy successor. The kids in my theater were howling. It has all the winks, nods, nostalgia, and loss fans of the first movie could ever want, and feels more loyal to its game roots than ever. 
now we've got about 2,000 likes and we've got another one here from Mike Reyes it says Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is a sonic blast of nostalgic fun quite a bit more lore and extension of Sonic 1 story than I expected which is fantastic Knuckles and Tails make for beautiful additions to the cast and the surprises this movie had ready to go blew me away and we already know what that is because I follow the leaks I wouldn't go too deep just yet but the themes of heroism friendship and even honor made this such fun to watch unfold. The Sonic Universe is for Sonic Cinematic Universe, the SCU, is forming now, and as someone who jumped on with Sonic 2 in the Genesis days, seeing well done Sonic movies makes me smile. So yeah, these are glowing reviews, glowing reviews. A trio that deserves heart and humor. This is by Eric Davis. This is good news, Sonic Movie 2 is a lot of fun. A much bigger, more action-driven film than the first Sonic, with great jokes and plenty for longtime fans. Jim Carrey is next level maniacal as Robotnik, but for me it's all Sonic Tails and Knuckles. That trio delivers a ton of heart and humor. I mean, they are the OG trio, right? You know, best known as Sonic Heroes, of course. This one's got 3,700 likes, so it's doing well. We've got one from Nikki Novak. Just saw Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and it's a love letter to video game lovers. Had a ton of fun with it. Unlike a lot of blockbusters, the third act is bananas and the strongest of the film. Hmm. I'm guessing the third act is, you know, when Knuckles, you know, becomes good and joins forces of Sonic and Tails. So that's definitely going to be epic, right? Jim Carrey reigns supreme. And then I think, no, I think there's a few more. This one's from Dana. It says, Sonic Movie 2 is everything I wanted filled with moments I didn't know I was allowed to ask for. It makes the first Sonic look like child's play, exactly. I witnessed children and adults collectively losing their minds. Overall, it made my heart smile, and I can't wait for the sequel. And we've got another one from Dorian Parks. It says, Sonic Movie 2 is a real love letter to the blue blur. It takes everything you liked about the first film and gives you so much more. Tails and Knuckles are fantastic additions, and Jim Carrey as Robotnik is even more unhinged. Ben Schwartz nails it as Sonic yet again, and just Elba absolutely crushes it as Knuckles. Colleen O'Shaughnessy does an incredible job bringing Tails to the big screen. I cannot wait to see more of them in the future. All right, so that means Tails isn't dead then, because they just said that, so no Tails there. And then we got this, oh, this is Ben Short, so obviously he's biased as fuck, but I just saw the final cut of Sonic Movie 2 in the theater, and it was awesome. I'm so proud to be a part of this franchise. Can't wait for me to see it. Town fill this thing to the brim with comedy, heart, and so much action. Get ready, this is not a game, but it's based on one. And um, I think this. Oh, Halo's got a TV show. Oh shit! But that is kind of crazy. Like, I, I, honestly, even though I don't really like Roger's Sonic voice, I do kind of feel bad for him. The movies are like the best thing right now in the franchise, and he didn't get to voice it. A bad is doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I just, I, I feel for Roger when it comes to that. You know, as much as I don't want him to voice Sonic, I feel for him there. Like, it just sucks, right? Like, because like the games are like so on the back burner right now. We may be getting news soon, you know, I'm going to be doing a future game show stream on my non-Sonic channel link in the description, so you want to check that out, but right now, the movie is just all the rave right now, so it's like, I don't know, like, I guess we'll have to see what happens, but clearly this movie is going to be superior to the first movie, and what other video game movie is going to contest this right now, because like, we're not including things like Wreck-It Ralph, which are like, based on video games, we're not really based on an actual video game franchise, so it's going to be the best video game movie, essentially, at least right now. And the Mario movie has got its work out for it. And you know Sonic fans, they've been desperate for a win against Mario. So if the Mario movie is mid, and the Sonic movie 2 is way better, you, you, you can bet your bottom dollar that Sonic fans on the Bird app are going to be roasting Mario fans if that movie is mid. Okay, let's just put it right, like right now. Even though Frontiers will probably not be that good and, you know, we'll have to deal with that pain. They'll just kind of push that shit to the side and be like, well, yeah, but our movie was better than yours. And it's like, yeah, I guess whatever you value is you know, going to affect you. But like for me, like the game is more important. So if Frontiers is mid and then the Mario movie is mid as well, it's like I could laugh at Mario, but it's like they still have the games. So I can't really laugh at them personally. For those people that just want to say Sonic did something better than Mario. Yeah, they're going to be on that shit this year if the Mario movie doesn't bring it. I'm sure the Mario movie will probably make more money because it's Super Mario Bros. But in terms of, like, you know, the quality, it's still up in arms what's going to happen. I mean, Illumination, we'll see what they do. But at the end of the day, this Sonic movie 2 is looking good, and I hope the third movie is going to be a lot better. And if the leaks are anything to go by and, like, who they're teasing for the third movie, I mean, it, it has to be better, right? They have to somehow top it, right? Just bringing in more Sonic lore alone is, like, an easy way to just make the movie better. 
but I guess we'll see what happens, man. But yeah, these early impressions are looking good, and we'll see proper reviews when the embargo lists, and then we can take a look at those. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about this. There is a Sonic product coming out, and the reviews from critics are overwhelmingly positive. No, you are not dreaming. I do not need to pinch you. It's just that when Sonic Team is not doing something, things actually get done properly. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure to check out the non-Sonic channel. The link will be in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, do me out.